What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and says we'll be going over the weekly reset guide for week 15 of Destiny 2 and as we know the faction rally was cancelled and they actually are implementing a bunch of updates and fixes to the game such as the Prometheus lens nerf and people not being able to have access to the prestige raid if you don't have Curse of Osiris and a bunch of other things so they uh, just implemented a bunch of those fixes. Uh, we're not going to be going over those, we're going to be going over the milestones and I guess what the vendors have so let's just hop right into it. So obviously uh, one of the first milestones here is the clan XP one, all you have to do is just complete activity you'll eventually get this, get this one done it's pretty I think it's pretty simple <laughs> moving on to the crucible uh, milestone all you have to do is I think you just have to get kills to complete this milestone I don't think it matters whether you complete the matches or not but as long as you get the kills uh, you'll be able to complete this one really fast I highly recommend uh, going in with the fire team uh, to do this next let's move on to the vanguard slash the strikes as we know uh, curse of osiris added in heroic strikes which all you have to do is complete three heroic strikes then you can go to zavala and uh, get some powerful gear which is really cool also you can do the nightfall which this time around is sabathun's song with modifiers momentum health and shield regeneration stop when you're not moving sprint to speed up regeneration and then you have time warp anomalies strange anomalies that have been detected in the area destroy them to release temporal energy and extend the mission timer obviously we've already seen this like nightfall before with the same modifiers that happened like two or three weeks ago uh that's kind of depressing that it didn't add in any new strikes or anything like that but still you can actually get some powerful stuff from zavala if you complete the nightfall moving on to the flashpoint is accurate actually mercury this time which it says complete public events and defeat cabal conquerors and vex defenders on mercury it's sad because there's only one public event on mercury which is like the coliseum one right here and you can go out to these islands out here but you can find higher level bosses on the outside of the map uh they'll definitely have their own names and whatnot they're going to be like those big yellow bar ones but essentially if you take those down that'll go toward uh, your flashpoint i guess percentage as well as we know the leviathan they actually brought in a new raid called the raid layer leviathan eater of worlds essentially if you complete the raid layer it says leviathan defy the cabal emperor in the leviathan raid or the eater of worlds raid layer all you have to do is complete one of these you can get some powerful gear and what's really cool is that if you complete the leviathan raid you get an automatic max level drop from defeating Kalos, which is really cool so definitely go into that raid there before we head to the tower, I actually want to head to Brother Vance right here and show you guys something uh, really quick. So as we know, last week we had Lost Prophecies. There were four available. I completed all four uh, on my characters. As you can see over here, you see one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure what was offered was number one, like number three, number four, and number six. I completed all those ones, and I'm pretty sure Brother Vance is selling the sword one this time around is what I've heard for this Lost, Pro Lost Prophecy, so I highly recommend picking it up. As we know, last week we could pick up like three and we could choose one, but I don't know uh, if people were completing them too fast. So they're like, hey, we're going to slow it down. We're going to bring the save 14 quest or whatever that is later. But maybe if you complete this one, you can get another one right after. I don't know, but I definitely highly recommend picking this up right here. Also, all the vendors now are selling this gear. So you can actually pick up all the gear that you want from all the vendors if you really want it. I definitely want uh, this set right here for Mercury. I already have the helmet, but it's really cool to have the full set. So just a reminder, every vendor has all this gear, which is really cool. All right, we're back in the tower and let's go to K6 here to pick up this treasure map. So what's really cool is these treasure maps are actually gonna be on Mercury this time considering it is the uh, flashpoint. There you go, little buddy. But oh, there's only three this time. So let's pick up these treasure maps. It's really not like a big playable area. So uh, I guess like finding these is gonna be like, I guess it's gonna be pretty easy. Also, if you wanna find some extra loot, definitely pick up the scout report for Mercury. It'll highlight nearby loot caches on Mercury for you and your fire team and it lasts four hours. So if you wanna just do some loot farming, on Mercury, I definitely highly, like, highly recommend picking up the scout report for Mercury. Essentially, all I need to do to find uh, these treasure maps is go over to Destination C or press on the flashpoint, which is Mercury, and the treasure maps will just pop up. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. See, one, two, three. You can't really track them, uh, but as long as you're in the general vicinity, uh, you should be able to find them if you're right on it and you're like, well, where's the treasure chest? Just remember it can be above or below you, so keep that in mind as well when you go to find these treasure maps. All right, moving on to Ikora here. Let's see what she has this time around. There's a lot of people here and I don't know why, but uh, let's see what she has. So, oh, sick, yeah. So she's actually selling that OG gear that you can get from, I guess, uh, what is it? The beginning of the Destiny 2 campaign. So you can actually pick this stuff up as long as you're a certain rank, um, I guess, in her faction, whatever you want to call it. But the meditation this time around looks like we have Riptide, Utopia, and the new Curse of Osiris one, The Gateway. So if you want to earn some uh, Vanguard research rep for Ikora Ray, definitely pick up these meditations and just complete those missions. You'll be good to go. All right, we're here at Eververse, and let's see, she's actually one of the only vendors that has a rotating gear, so that's kind of neat. Let's check out, she has a confused emote, the dancey dance emote, the striped abandoned vehicle, the sailing shield ship, looks like she has the black plague uh, weapon ornament for the Rat King, which I have, 
kind of makes it like all black you know it is called the black plague for a reason so yeah it makes the eyes glow for all like the little rats and whatnot and then she also has the other racking ornament that came with curse of osiris called the catacombs kind of makes it look like underground brown yeah like that moldy kind of color but yeah still it's kind of cool that they brought in those uh, i guess it's more rat or like sewer theme for that which is kind of cool Looks like she is bringing along the class item for all of the Mechanos sets for all the classes. So if you don't have the class item and you want it, definitely go ahead and pick it up. She's also selling the Captain Seashell. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. The Garden Pink Trasmat Effect. The from Frumulus Blue Shader. The Metallic Sunrise Shader. And then she's also selling the Fire Team Medallion, which increased XP gains and loot for you and members of your fire team when you go into strike spell against her crucible and it lasts four hours and she also has these new things called gleaming boon so this is the gleaming boon of the vanguard with this when this is used during a strike all players receive an eververse gift at the end of that strike only one gift consumable may be used per player in a activity and then you also have the gleaming boon of the crucible when this is used during a crucible match a player's all players receive an Eververse gift at the end of the match. Only one gift consumable may be used per player in an activity. So every person in the Crucible match gets one. Even the other team uh, that you're not playing on also gets a gift. So that's kind of neat when it comes to that. All right, guys. The best way to support me is liking videos, subscribing to the channel, sharing videos, and turning on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I drop some new content on the channel. Also, if you're looking for a community to join, definitely go to the link below. Say join the clan. All you have to do is press on the link. Request to join the clan. Then me and the PS4 admin will look you over and we'll let you into the clan. We're really looking for some people in that end game area, like the raid, raid layer, trials, stuff like that. We're really looking for people that are into those things. So definitely, if if you play those things and your clan doesn't play them anymore, definitely just head on over. We're already like rank two from last week. We hit max clan rank within a day and obviously we're like almost like 120th the way there already and i haven't even started anything so we're definitely going to be able to hit uh definitely rank three by the end of the week also comment what you guys want to see below i'm making content for you guys so whatever you guys want to see a weapon review what i think of curse of osiris any of that stuff definitely let me in the comment section below but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time